Hello guys. We are back with another one, another pitch meeting. This time Venom. Venom. My favorite. You like that movie, right? Um, yeah, I like the movie. Yeah, Tom Hardy. I think he did a good job. Mm -hmm. You know, some of the fans were a little rough on this movie. It wasn't it was. like the MCU level, mm -hmm. but I, I, I liked it. I, yeah. I, I was not hating on this movie. So let's check out this pitch meeting. Let's see what they have to say about this movie. You know they're gonna kill it. So you have a Venom script for me? Yes, sir, I do. And it's gonna be a ton of fun. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we're gonna have Venom biting heads off and massacring <laughs> people left and right. Wow, well, as long as we don't see <laughs> any true. of that, that sounds awesome. Wait, what? Well, we want that PG-13 <laughs> rating so we can have him bite people's heads off, but we can't see it happen. Oh, so we man. can do it if we don't do it? Yeah, exactly. We can just cut away and imply that something <laughs> violent happened. Oh, that's gonna be significantly less satisfying to watch. Well, <laughs> okay. we're tied. We need that PG-13 oh, rating if we want to make money off a comic book movie. Well, I mean, what about Deadpool and Logan and True. Deadpool 2? True. What about them? Well, they were R-rated comic book movies and they mm -hmm. made a ton of money. Can't ton we learn anything from their success? Well, here's the thing about learning. It's for nerds and I hate doing it. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I hadn't thought of it that way. So what kind it's of tone nerds. and genre were you thinking for this movie? Oh, uh, all of them. All of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's going to yeah, play yeah. like a horror movie, and other times a superhero movie, and other times uh -huh. a buddy comedy. We're just going to be all over the place. I guess it's true. good to cover it's lots true. of ground. They yeah, did. if somebody isn't enjoying a certain part of the movie, they just have to wait a couple of minutes, and it'll switch to a different genre. <laughs> that's pretty innovative, actually. So what happens in the movie? Well, we're going to have some symbiotes <laughs> land on Earth, right? Uh, I think it's pronounced symbiote actually it definitely isn't well how about we have them pronounce it symbiote in the trailer and see how people react i guarantee that they'll be angry don't you mean that they'll buy angry i don't that's not how that's pronounced either listen as long as people go out and be a bunch of venom merchandise i don't care how they feel fair <laughs> enough so anyway these symbiotes land money, in money, Malaysia money, money, money. And they're taken by the life foundation but one of them escapes oh is it venom no it's a symbiote called riot that's eventually going to latch on to the bad guy carlton uh -huh. drake oh what's carlton drake's deal i just told you he's a bad guy he's oh bad that's guy. as deep as it goes Pretty much. Well, what kind of stuff does he do? Like, give me an example of a scene. Well, at one point, he's with some kids that are touring his lab, and they start laughing at this one girl because she asked him a question. Okay. And Drake has this big speech about how it's important to ask questions, and you shouldn't silence people to do it. Wow, so what does she finally ask as a question? I don't know. He's going to leave right after his speech, and she's not going to get to ask him one. Very hard. Oh, yeah. So anyway, after the symbiotes land on Earth, I have a lot hard. of legwork to do to get everybody where they need to be for the fun to start. What do you mean? Well, like the Venom symbiote's in a secure lab now, right? but uh -huh. the whole movie's about Eddie Brock as Venom, so I had to get him into the lab somehow. Okay. Yeah. So what I did yeah. was have one yeah, of Drake's true. scientists reach out to Eddie, and she's like, yo, Carlton Drake is doing tests on homeless people. You have to come to the lab and take some pictures, unemployed journalist Eddie Brock. Why doesn't <laughs> she just take the pictures herself? Way too dangerous. Oh, it is? Yeah, so she goes the much safer <laughs> route of breaking into the lab in the middle of the night with an unauthorized individual so he can take the pictures. <laughs> much safer. And yeah, much so that's safer. how the Venom symbiote latches onto Eddie Brock. And what about Riot? Oh, well, Riot latches onto this old lady in Malaysia and wanders around aimlessly for six months. Oh my god, what? Yeah, spends half a year as an old lady, then goes to the airport and latches onto a little girl who's going to San Francisco. What a weird strategy. Yeah, and then as the little girl, he walks right into the secure lab that doesn't have any security, thank god. How'd the little girl get to the lab? Did she take an Uber? Maybe her parents dropped her off, I don't know. Well, okay then. And so yeah, then Riot latches onto like, Carlton Drake. Know. Wow, that really is a lot me. of light work. Yeah, I mean, all that stuff is definitely going to be the least fun part of the movie, but Venom has has to break out of the lab somehow, and Riot has to get to the lab somehow, so I didn't really have a choice. Yeah, I mean, you could have switched them. What? You could have had Venom be the symbiote that escapes at the beginning and uh -huh. have Riot go to the lab, which is where he needs to end up anyway. Wow, yeah, no, that would have saved about 45 minutes of crap and made the whole thing a lot more fun to watch. I mean, you could still change it. We haven't started to shoot yet. Yeah, I mean, I don't feel like it, though. Oh, okay. Like it. Yeah, sounds like a whole lot of work. So anyway, what else happens in the movie? Oh, well, Drake's gonna want to capture Eddie alive since Venom latched onto him, right? So what does he do? Well, what would you do if your secret science thing escaped and you wanted to capture it alive. Something very low-key, I guess. Wrong. You'd send Wrong. a fleet of exploding drones after him as he does crazy motorcycle stunts. It feels like that would not only kill him, but cause a lot of property damage and attract a lot of attention. It's gonna make for some really cool trailer shots, though. Oh, uh -huh. well, that's what really matters, so okay. And then at a certain point, Eddie's gonna get separated from Venom. Uh-oh, is it gonna buy hard for him to get reattached? No, it's gonna be super easy. Barely really an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, Venom's gonna latch onto a dog and then onto Eddie's girlfriend, and then she's gonna have to make out with him to transfer 
for the symbiote. Wait, does that mean she had to make out with the dog? You're goddamn right. <laughs> anyway, so then we're going to have this big right. fight between Venom and Riot. We're going to have two super dark aliens fighting at nighttime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds yeah, like yeah. it's going to buy kind of hard to see what's happening. Oh, yeah, super hard to see. It's going to be like hard. watching two people wearing garbage bags fighting by <laughs> candlelight. It's going to be like, who's who and two what's going on? Oh, that sounds exciting. And at the end of the movie, we're going to have a scene where Venom and Eddie tease a bad guy before biting his head off. Oh, nice. I'm going to put that in the trailer. Oh, well, it's like the last scene, so maybe we shouldn't. If there's one thing people want to see in a movie trailer, it's the final scene of the movie. Yeah. Where <laughs> so Venom basically <laughs> says he's going to bite this guy's head and limbs off, and he's going to roll down the street <laughs> like a turd in the wind. Oh, uh, turds in the wind are tight. How do you already Psych. have an opinion on turds in the wind? My cat's litter box is right next to a fan. Oh, okay, gotcha. So how do you think the movie's going to do? Well, there's a Lady Gaga Bradley Cooper movie coming oh, out that man. same weekend in October, so I'm a little worried. Uh-oh. Yeah, so let's hope that turd in the wind line really resonates with people. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> it did really good at the box office. I October all-time opening weekend record. Yeah. Yeah, and it came out at the same time as that Lady Gaga movie, know, Star which is Born, love. which also did really good. Yeah. You know, so those, those two movies. I remember we went to the theater I know. that weekend, and I think we watched two movies that weekend. That like, same day, I that think. That same day. I think so. Yeah, like we watched Better For Me, and we watched The Star is Born For, for You, and we enjoyed both movies. <laughs> I remember the ladies in the back at the movie theater, they were like, like so emotional for Star crying Born? for Star is Born. Oh yeah, 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 they were, <laughs> they were all choked up. <laughs> so anyway, Venom, uh, he has some very good points. Like this movie should have been rated R, like no doubt about it. Yeah, rated R, like, like, you know, like Deadpool, mm -hmm. uh, because for the character, it would have only made sense, you know, to well, make this movie they, rated R. Yeah, yeah, and they didn't go like so dark because they wanted to keep it peachy dirty. Right. Even though it was dark, but... But I think they should have went true to the character. I understand maybe some little kids wouldn't have been able to see it, uh, but it, I think it would have been a much better movie. Well, I think it's because, you know, he's the villain from Spider-Man, and Spider-Man is, is always a PG-13 movie, so they wanted that's to keep true. it in the same level. You I know what that. I mean? That's a very good point. Yeah. That's a valid point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. But for that, I mean, for what he does, for what this character does, you know, chopping people's heads off, I think some fans would have wanted to see that. I know. Yeah. I know. And but, then, like, he has another good point. Like, 45 minutes of the movie was him trying to get into the lab. <laughs> that's a that's true. That's valid. I'll take that. Yeah, that was, like, a waste, too. Yeah. Just way too much involved on that. <laughs> because the first time, you know, I only watched this movie once. Mm -hmm. And I enjoyed it. But I didn't watch it a second time. Usually when I watch a movie the second time, that's when I really start to analyze what they could have done better, what was wrong. And now, thinking about it, it's like, yeah, he's they spent too much time just trying to get him to Venom. To Venom. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so um, I think hopefully the next one is going to be better. I'm sure it's going to be a next one. There's going to be right? a next one because it made so much money. I'm mm -hmm. sure they already that's already in the works, and they teased uh, the sequel oh. with Woody, Woody Harrelson. Remember at the end where he goes oh, to see this yes. inmate? And that's supposed to be another one, another type of Venom called Carnage. So, and I'm I'm hearing that Venom might also appear in a Spider-Man movie. Well, it has to. It has to. It has to. That would only make sense. Yeah. So, you know, there's going to be a Ooh, lot of Venom stuff. Be crazy for Spider-Man because he's yeah. really evil. He's really, that's a rough, that's a tough villain. That's a tough villain. To me, that's one of the toughest villains Spider-Man has. He's like, he's, you know, he's been in really bad shape. From some Venom fights. <laughs> you yeah. know, Spider-Man to me is always like this like skinny Spider-Man character right. that, you know, you can't give him such a bad villain because you it's can't. just, it's not going to like be realistic. Well, I mean, but he's also very strong too. I know. You know, he's he's got some, he's got some of the toughest villains, Dr. Octopus, That's true. you know, a whole bunch of them. He's got, I think one of the things that makes Spider-Man so great it's not that he's just great as a character, but he also has some amazing villains. Like a whole lineup. Like they did a great job of giving Spider-Man a lineup of, of villains that just hate him. He's got a whole bunch of haters. Yeah, he does. You know, and I think also like let's say Batman, he's got a whole bunch of great villains that they could just keep making movies because they just pick another great villain. You know, and then there's other characters that don't have as many great villains. You know, like, I, I wish Wonder Woman had more great villains. I know. I wish Captain America had more great villains. Which I'm so excited. We're going to go see We're it. We're going to go check out Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Over the holidays. I'm Wonder sure it's going to be great. 
is getting good <laughs> reviews, early good reviews. So guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this uh, pitch meeting reaction. Let us know, did you like Venom? Were you disappointed by it? Are you looking forward to a sequel? Right? I am. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. It really helps out. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye-bye, guys.